Hi, I'm Ellie and I'm one of the co-writers and co-directors of Through the Cracks, Mint Theatre Society's newest show. I have adapted M.R. James's short horror story, Oh Whistle and I'll Come to You My Lad, for the stage. M.R. James was a writer of short horror stories. He lived between 1862 and 1936. He was a very prolific horror writer and he wrote a number of short stories, all kind of with the same theme. Um, he was a medievalist at Cambridge University, so a lot of his stories have to do with um, an academic finding some kind of manuscript or mysterious old object. Um, and many of his stories uh, play on our fear of the uncanny and the unknown. And Emma James is probably one of the best known horror writers. Well, firstly, I feel a little bit of kinship with M.R. James, um, having also studied medieval studies at Cambridge myself. Um, so I understand kind of how creepy some of these old archives um, and old objects and old documents can be. Um, and also, I'm just a huge horror fan. Um, I love horror movies, horror books, horror plays. So my first introduction to M.R. James was probably watching some adaptations of his ghost stories on TV at Christmas. Um, and then I subsequently went on to buy his complete works and read all of his short stories. And like many people, one of my very favourites was Oh Whistle and I'll Come to You My Lad. So Whistle is about a young academic who is very, very sceptical about anything supernatural. He doesn't believe in superstition, he doesn't believe in anything that he can't see, hear or touch. And his sanity is tested when he finds a whistle on a beach and blows the whistle. And after he's done that, some very, very strange things start happening to him. And Whistle is probably one of the, the most well-known and popular of M.R. James's ghost stories and I was particularly drawn to it because I think the setting of a beach is not normally where we would expect to see a horror story. Most of us have quite positive connotations with going to the beach, um, but beaches can actually be pretty lonely and scary places in the right circumstances. Well, first of all, the story has been updated so that it takes place in the modern day rather than in M.R. James's day. So the characters are a bit more um, modern, possibly a little bit more relatable um, to a modern audience. We've also had to be very creative with our set design. Um, a number of the scenes take place in the room of a and b with two beds in it, so you can imagine how challenging that is um, to adapt for the stage. So our set is quite dreamlike and abstract and surreal. And also, this is a stage adaptation. Um, so there are a couple of TV adaptations out there that you might have seen, um, but with this version, you will actually be seeing the story playing out in front of your very eyes live. So come and see the Mint Theatre Society performing through the cracks. It's three completely new pieces of theatre, two adaptations of horror classics, including O Whistle, and one entirely brand new piece of writing that no one will have ever seen before. Um, so it's being performed in May, all the details are in the description box, and we really hope to see you there.